Hey guys, how's it going? It's Etanius here. Welcome to episode number 26 of this NHL 20 Hamilton Tigers franchise mode. Today, guys, we are jumping into round number two for sure. Maybe round number three even of the playoffs. We'll definitely be taking on the Florida Panthers and uh, we'll see how it goes. So just before this episode starts, if you guys are new to the channel and, uh, you know, enjoying these videos, please go down below, uh, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and uh, comment and turn on notifications as well so uh, you know when I'm uploading. But anyways, let's jump into episode number 27. So guys, today we are taking on the Florida Panthers for sure in round two of the playoffs. Um, really, our team is about as good as it's ever been. Um, you know, it's hard not to have a team this good when you keep landing good prospects and doing things like that. You know, something I do want to do with this team eventually is change the coach so we actually have a good system fit. I mean, we've built decent teams over the years, but like we have a full pinch and cycle defensive system and really we just haven't utilized it. Unfortunately, um, Lafreniere is having his best season ever at the moment. But we will see if that continues here in round two. Uh, Luke Leopold leading the team in points right now with eight and five games. And honestly, Morgan Vasakis has been crushing it for us too. He's been ridiculously good. So uh, yeah, that's our team currently. You know, the goaltending isn't the most spectacular, but Robert Cronwell, at just 21 years old, is honestly doing quite good. I'm impressed with him. Four wins in five games. Let's see if he can continue that form into round two of the playoffs. So really, we're just waiting on Vegas and Vancouver to finish up their series. Everybody else has finished theirs already, and I'm betting on Vegas. So let's see what happens here. Vegas is through. Yep, big surprise there. They are actually the defending cup champs, I believe. Uh, I need to check on my piece of paper here. Yes, they are. They are the defending cup champions at the moment. So my friends, it is time for some revenge. Uh, last year, we got knocked out in round one of the playoffs by the Florida Panthers. Um, apparently we see Florida every single year because that's just how things work. Um, you know, besides our first couple of seasons where we got knocked out by Boston and Toronto, it's been Florida like every single freaking year. And uh, yeah, like this is our fourth year in a row that we get to see the Panthers in the playoffs. So let's check them out. You know, we have a pretty good sense of how good their team is already. But, uh, you know, they might have made a improvements. They might have lost players. You never know. And, uh, yeah, really, they've got a very, very solid team here. Um, Mika Kabusari kind of following in the footsteps of his Finnish counterpart, Alexander Barkov, going second overall in his draft year behind a franchise player and uh, really just proving that he's just as good pretty much. Um, their defense is a bit in shambles, I have to say, but, you know, I think Yuri Nesterov will save their ass a couple times here. I mean, he won their series in six games against Tampa Bay, I believe, and, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do against the Panthers. Obviously, we finished third in the league in the regular season, so we are going to have home ice advantage, but let's jump into this series. So, game one is obviously in Hamilton because the Tigers have played so well in recent memory so here we go first period game one it's a 1-1 game Miko Cabosari and Neil both score for their respective teams just uh not even 40 seconds apart there too 8-8 on shots for the first second period it's a 3-2 game as the Panthers get goals from Gregor and Huberdeau and uh Morgan Vesakis scores for um the Tigers we outshoot them 22 to 19 but we got to keep out shooting them if we're gonna you know even tie this game up really because we are down right now and it's not looking spectacular as they're really getting a lot of shots and we're not come on Hamilton power play you only get one shot really you only got one shot on that power play what are you guys doing this is home ice this is the playoffs you guys need to play better like, really, you're going to let Florida just take you again in the second round? Like, God, this is brutal. Okay, so we're still down 3-2. to two. Um, It's not looking great here. And Hamilton is going to tie game one up. Wow. Mikhail Savan, absolutely clutch. I did not think we were going to even be heading to overtime, really. So 
Let's see what happens. Hamilton comes back and wins game one. Bray and Steve's getting the clutch OT goal, but we have to hand it to Mikhail Savan, proving like, hey, I'm your franchise winger. I'm going to score for you when it matters most. And uh, we take game one there at home. Thank God. All right, second game again in Hamilton. Uh, looks like the other teams who won their games were Detroit and Anaheim, as well as Philadelphia. All right, game two, here we go. Luke Leopold, 10 points in six games. All right. First period, Florida's up 2-1. to one. Goals from Barkov and Malgin for them, and Neal scores for us yet again. Second period, it's a 4-1 game for Florida as Huberdeau and Hacken both score for them. Shoot, this is not good. Uh, we need a lot of goals, and we need a lot of goals now. Otherwise, this is a 1-1 series heading to Florida, which we do not want, as, uh, you know, these series with Florida seem to extend far longer than any other in the NHL. We almost always go to seven games with them, and that's not what we want. So, um, it's not looking good here. It doesn't look like we're getting any scoring this period, and uh, really, that's probably going to wrap it up. We're probably heading back to Florida here uh, with a 1-1 series tie. So Florida getting what they need to get done complete here as they take a road win, and that is not good for us. We have home ice advantage. All you got to do is win on home ice to win a series, and we lose one there, so that's not spectacular. Looks like 1-1 one, one series all around here. That is uh, that is good to see. At least there's some uh, some equilibrium or some balance in the league. So let's see how game three treats us. Uh, game two, not so great, but really we kind of stole game one, to be honest. First period, we're down 2-1 again. God, Lambo scores for us, but Boakfast and Bargo both score for Florida. Second period, oh, we're up 4-3, thank God. Goals from Walton to Aminen and, uh, who's that, Shrimp? Yeah, okay, and, uh, Johnson Falby, or I, I think that's how you say it, I don't know. Um, scores for the Panthers. Okay, third period. All we got to do is hold a lead, and of course we give it up in the first fucking minute. Are you kidding me? It's the only thing Florida did there. Is Miku Kabusari gets a shot on net. Oh, it's in. Fortunately, Shrimp scores for us again, my gosh. Uh, he's actually clutching up right now. Rory Shrimp is proving to be a fairly important piece on this team. Power play does not convert for Hamilton. It's still a one-goal game. We are out shooting Florida, but that doesn't matter because you let Kavosari shoot and he's going to score. And uh, this is really just ridiculous and kind of embarrassing on Hamilton's part that they can't get anything done here. So, uh, yeah, way to let Florida walk all over you guys and keep letting them in. It's like, oh, oh, we're, we're ahead of Florida. Let's leave the back door unlocked and let them back into the series every single freaking time. God, okay, overtime. And we lose game two or game three, sorry, in Florida, in overtime. Well done, boys. All you had to do was bury a power play goal, but apparently you are incapable of that. <sighs> this is not where we wanted to be. We didn't want to be down 2-1. We are the better team on paper and in the standings and everything, and instead we're blowing games in overtime to a worse Florida team. So really, the only excuse Florida has is, oh, our goaltending's a little bit better. Yeah, light their asses up, okay? They got no defense. You guys should be scoring around five or six goals a game on this team, okay? Matsumoto got one there for us, as well as Leopold, as well as Lafreniere. And Lapierre scored for Florida, but we outshoot them 10-9. to We're the better team. Come on. Second period. It's a 4-1 game as Brian Steve scores for us. Dear God, if you guys blow a three-goal lead, I am going to lose it. So here we go, um, 26 shots for Florida, but uh, yeah, there's Miku Cavazari, my favorite player in the NHL, and Cavazari again, oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm really biting my lip right now because I could be going off on Cavazari, more so on our team, that we're letting Cavazari shoot. You know he's the most freaking dangerous player on the entire Florida team, why don't we have a guy and a half on him, or two guys, like god, like... Oh, God, power play for Florida. And it doesn't convert, thank God. They're going to score with, like, 10 seconds left, aren't they? <sighs> thank God. I, uh, I was worried for a second. Okay. So we win game four, four to three, and uh, 
We're still in this series, but really it probably should be uh, 4-3 for, or 4-3. 3-1 for us right now instead of tied to a piece, but uh, Boston's won three games straight against Philly. That kind of sucks, and Colorado has won three games straight against Detroit. Wow, okay, we got uh, some crazy series going on here. Um, okay, who were the two teams that finished ahead of us in the standings? I get the feeling they both probably got knocked out, and that's just going to be funny at this point. So... Let's see, Hamilton finishes with 107. The two teams that finished ahead of us, oh no, Colorado and Anaheim. Good, they're both in it still, um, and they both could easily move on. So, great. That's just what we need is a much tougher playoff bracket. Okay, we are struggling with Florida right now. So, game five at home in Hamilton. Dear God, if you guys can't do something with this. Okay, first period up 5-2, wow. Wow. Two goals from Lafreniere, a goal from Matsumoto, two of Minen, and Mikhail Savan. Uh, Gregor and Barkov both score for Florida as they outshoot us 13-9. Doesn't matter, though. Second period, it's a 6-3 game as Mulgan and Savan both get power play goals. All right, and the third period in Game 5. Oh, okay, you guys know what I've said so many times. Game 5 is pivotal, and uh, Barkov scores. Good. Oh, Two-goal game. Okay, two goals, guys. If you can just play some freaking defense for once in your lives, we're going to be good. And, uh, looks good so far, but this is a slow sim. It's called a slow sim for a reason. And, okay, Robert Nylander makes it a 7-4 game. Thank you, Robert. That, uh, that was really giving me some high blood pressure there. But, anyways, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, 31 shots. We scored seven times. So that is just a complete effort from the team there. And like I said, we should be scoring five to six goals a game on this team. That does prove to be true as Slaney gets four assists in that game. Wow. Okay, so we got a 3-2 series lead. Uh, looks like Vegas got the lead in their series over Anaheim. Detroit 1-1 back and same with Philadelphia. All right, game six, we have a chance to knock out Florida for the first time in under seven games here. Dear God, let's please do this. Okay, period one in Florida. We're up one nothing. Thank you, Nylander. Short-handed goal at that. 19 to seven in shots. Second period. It's still one nothing. Good. Okay. If we can knock him out here, that would be about the best thing in my day. Um. <laughs> Dear God, I don't want to blow this again. We have really just been terrible as far as the playoffs go and winning games. Five on three, doesn't convert. Five on four, doesn't convert. Thank you, penalty killers, uh, proving that we have the better players here. Okay, so this could be a new record for us for the quickest we've ever won a series against Florida uh, because apparently the Panthers just don't go out easily, but we beat them. No, we don't. We don't beat them. Oh, my God. You gave up a goal with 48 seconds left. Uh... All right. I'm jumping into overtime, guys. This is absolutely insane. They have 78 defense. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um. Okay, if Florida wears those ugly-ass fake home jerseys one more time, I'm going to lose it. Okay. We can beat them right here. I just have to not play like shit like I normally do. So here we go. This is OT. This is next goal wins. Sudden death, as they would normally call it. And uh, really, we got to not do anything stupid here and just stay in Florida's end, get some shots, and play smart. I knew that was the passing lane he wanted. Hack and get out of here. Good giveaway right in front of the net, and oh my god, that is way too close. Give me that puck, Cabo, sorry. Jilson plays it over to Lafreniere. He's going to drop it back to Jilson, who's going to tee one up and fire. And how is that guy's ankle not broken? That was offside. I'm sorry, Barkov. You are completely offside on that one. Can someone please knock Cabusari's teeth in for me? I cannot stand the guy. Oh, of course they... How did we give up a goal with under a minute left in the game? Are you kidding me? 
Here we go, Brand Steves, nice pass to Savan, Mikhail Savan, we know how he plays, oh my god, that's off the post, are you kidding me? That would just be our luck, wouldn't it? And I bet you they come back the other way and try to score here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, are you kidding me right now? Get out of here. Savan, spin move on Pareko, Nestrov with the glove. Throwing the body right now, and oh my god, Lambos, that was a crushing hit. Alright, here we go, Walton. Shoots one high, good save. God, how are we not converting on these chances? I know Nestrov's a good goalie, but, like, come on, our offense has got to be better. And somehow Perlini's just the fastest player in the league, and he's going to pull that on me? Come on. Call a hooking penalty. What is my guy doing? Oh god, Dainton, don't pick up the puck now, you imbecile. This is all-star. They make you pay if you don't clear the puck. Holy fuck. Oh my god, that puck was on a string. Did anybody else see that? And now Kempe is just going to walk in and create the fattest freaking chance of the game so far. God damn it! Give me the fucking puck already. Guys! Are you kidding me? Nobody got a fucking stick on that puck? I'm done. I'm done with this game. I'm done with this joke of a freaking series. We should be walking on the Panthers. They have 78 fucking defense. Are you kidding me? The other thing I love is that my goalie never makes a fucking glove save. Like, like, yeah. I get it. There's three Florida players standing in front of the net. My defense all decide to walk to the corners. But, um, dear God, Cronwall, catch a fucking puck. Like, if you do, there's no rebound. That means there's no second, third, or fourth opportunities, which is apparently how many shots Florida had to take just to win that fucking joke of a game in overtime. Can we crush them on home ice, please? Dear God, if this game does not go the way it's supposed to in the first period, I'm playing two. First period, Florida's up. All right, we're playing two periods. Not only that, Brandon Perlini's career is a joke, okay? So uh, please stop scoring on us. You're not an NHL player. Like, at this point, I'm actually done. I'm actually done with Florida. Like, get out of my building, you ugly fuck. Lafreniere... Tries to deke, but, you know, instead these guys are all just playing fucking lockdown. I know exactly how you work because I'm a fucking AI. Like, God, give me a break already. Florida's not a good team. They haven't been a good team. They're not going to win a cup ever, probably, because their fan base doesn't care enough. Good. That should be in the net because Florida deserves it. I have no words for how much of a joke this gameplay is, man. Well, at least somebody scored, right? That took absolutely forever, and that was ridiculous. I believe that's Leopold's goal? Yeah, okay. So, we got a tie game 1-1 here. Took us four minutes of freaking power play time, but we finally get it. And that is a nice holding on the faceoff, man. Lambos down into the corner. Savan finds the pass, and of course it's Visakis burying it. He's got, like, one of the best shots on our team. If he doesn't bury that from there, I'm trading him. <laughs> so, you know, the guy who's kind of disappointed me, to be honest, is Jake Neal. Like, yes, he's a number one overall pick, but it's just like, man, he hasn't really developed the way I was hoping he would. Anyways, uh, no, nice pass, Savan, but that's what he's supposed to do. He's our franchise player, right? So... Aside from the other two franchise players we have on this team. Um, nice goal there, though, for sure. So, we are finally up. Um, this is ridiculous, though, that it's taken this much work and effort and time just to get back into the game. Oh, I love when the AI takes a boarding call. God. 
I wasn't even controlling Matsumoto. Or no, it was Leopold. Okay, well, you know, whatever. If Leopold's gonna run somebody, it may as well be Kabusari. Oh my god, what a deflection. Are you kidding me, though? Like, I know Borgstrom's a good player and all, but come on. One, he tips it out of the air. Two, he checks our guy behind the net, pulls it back in front, and then snipes it off the post and in. Like, come on, Borgstrom. Yeah, aren't that good. <laughs> Alright, now we get to play with this joke of a game that's tied to all. Okay, Rory Shrimp, let's see what you can do, buddy. Uh, get hooked, apparently. That's all you can do. Of course, there's like two seconds left on the power play. And they score. What is this game? Noah Gregor is a fourth liner. Holy shit. Oh, and you know, of course they scored with two seconds left on the five on three. Wow. What a game. What a game, man. Oh, yeah. Of course, they make the perfect poke check. I'm done. I'm done with this game. I'm sorry. The fact that they not only cut off the pass for a breakaway play out of the penalty box, but also score on the same fucking shift is so ridiculous on so many levels that the AI... You know what? Look at the shot difference. Look at the penalty minute difference, guys. This is what we're dealing with right now. It is a joke. Good. Get Hacken out of the game for a while. He's not even a good player. He's actually a fucking troll because he wears number 69. You want to go, Hacken? You want to go? You don't want to go, buddy. I'm going to literally punch the shit out of you. Holy shit, he just one-punched me. Is this what we're playing at right now? Wow. Wow. Are you kidding me? Wow. Guys, I have no words to describe how fun. There you go. That's what a franchise defenseman's supposed to do. Thank God. This is ridiculous. So yeah, nice shot. That's how it should go, honestly. Like, Nestrov is not that good a goalie. I'm done with this. So, we got a 4-3 game now, thank God. Beat all of these guys. Matsumoto, thank God. Oh my God, are you kidding me? That's in! There's half a net to shoot at. Where does Lafreniere put it? Off the fucking post. <sighs> wow. I, I just have no words. I have no words for how disgraceful this game is. God, that's charging. He took five strides into the hit. Dear fucking God. Can we watch this again? Guys, if this isn't a charge... The NHL is a disgrace, okay? Watch this. Where's my guy? Probably lying on his back still from getting charged. Yep, look at this. Okay, watch this player. Watch this. One, two, okay. Where does he start his stride? He starts his stride back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten strides through the hit. And that's not a penalty. And we get scored on because of it. Thank you, EA. This no, I'm I'm sorry. This Florida team ain't that good. Okay, here we go, Hakana. Ha <laughs> ha! Guys, that is the luckiest bounce I've ever seen. Okay? And we deserve it right now. <laughs> we deserve it right now. Nice goal, Samu Hakana. Apparently that's the only way we're gonna beat Nestrov is with a bunch of fluke goals. So Keep fluking them away, guys, honestly. Idiot. These players, these, these Florida players are not this good. I don't care if that's a shorthanded or what. I am done with this Florida team. 
That's a hook. That is a hook right there. Well done, boys. Well done. You just let Braxton Walton walk in and forehand, backhand get hooked. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. That's the first time that shot's come off this game. <sighs> Two shorties. Suck on that, Florida. Suck on that. This is ridiculous. It's about freaking time a goal or two went in. Where are you going, Huberto? All right, you're not a good enough player to check Lafreniere. Get in the net. Okay, come on, our forward line two is so much better. Bang, bang. Quickest sentence in this series. Bang? Bang. <laughs> Let's go, Lars. Bang. Absolute cannon. What a shot. Boat time he's actually scored one. First of the playoffs. We're in round two already. Uh, but that is exactly what we needed right about now. Thank God. Okay. Four and a half minutes left. This is now our game to lose. Savan, there you go. That's the series. Brian Steves buries it. <sighs> wow, we scored two shorties to tie this game and then scored two even strengths to win it. <sighs> Thank you, dear God. Thank you. That was honestly way too close for a series. That was way too close. So yeah, there you have it. I mean, I don't want to say the series is decided yet. There's still two minutes and 45 seconds left, which is more than enough time for Florida to score two. And I'm sure they're gonna come at us about as hard as they possibly can. But if we do it right, I can just give the puck up to Kabusari all day. And there we go. The Tigers are through. So there you have it, round, what is this? Round two complete, seven game series, absolutely cutthroat series, honestly. It always is with Florida and we fortunately are able to beat them. They got 49 shots on net, we had 36 penalty minutes, they had 20. That tells you right there how that game went, my god. So, by the looks of it, um, Detroit and Vegas are through. We are going to be meeting Boston in the conference finals. Alright, so let's check out these remaining teams here. So, these are the teams left. Alright, Boston is the team we're going to be playing. Um... Okay, that's cool, that's good with me, um, we should be walking all over them, even if they got plus 5 chemistry boost throughout, the team's still not that good, <laughs> so yeah, that's Boston, um, next team is Detroit, they're actually pretty good, I'll give them that, they are a pretty good team, that's a good roster for sure, um, Angelo McKinnis was a second overall pick. Okay. And who else do I not recognize? Logan Rammer's 19. Um, Eskildinen, or Eskildinen, sorry, was a second overall pick as well. Jeez. Wait, he's 19. Hold up. What? This dude's insane. Oh my god. 
What a player Detroit has there in him. Ollie Eskelin, and they've got actually a really good defensive group, and then they've got an elite goalie in Jaden Bo Bomick as well, I believe is how you say it. So yeah, um, Detroit's a good team. I will give them that. Okay, and then Vegas is the final team. So the Golden Knights have got a reasonably solid team here, I would say. Nothing, you know, crazy. Um, Kevin LeBanc is surprisingly good. They've actually got a lot of players that are, you know, above average, but their defense is really lacking, and their goaltending is extremely lacking. So how, how has this team made it this far? I don't know. I really can't tell you, but uh, yeah, that is uh, that is our competition. I would be most worried about Detroit, probably. But uh, we got to beat Boston first, obviously. So, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Next episode, we will be taking on Boston, and uh, that should be a fun series. It might be kind of tough, honestly, but... Uh, Really, the other thing that we do need to start focusing on a bit more is not only building better chemistry in this team, because I know I can do it. I've definitely gotten a little more adept at building chemistry throughout the year in this game, but uh, that's definitely something we should focus on with this team, see who's you know somewhat similar in their system fits and stuff like that. Obviously, the defense, if we can find mainly a pinch and cycle coach, we're going to be fine, but... Um, yeah, really, this team could definitely be a lot better than it is. Um, I think the main thing we need to do is make sure that Mikhail Savan is on a uh, is on as much chemistry as possible because he is our best player and is going to lead this team for a long time. I would say, you know, the other guys like yeah, Slaney's good, um, Lafreniere's good. Like a lot of these guys are really good players, but we gotta we gotta build chemistry if this team's gonna be consistent so that's it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed if you are new to the channel please go down below leave a like on the video subscribe and uh turn on notifications so you don't miss when i upload but that's gonna be it for me this is etanios signing out and see ya